Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, as expected, Danny Garcia, he does away with Lightning Rod Soka very easy. Now, if I can say anything good about the whole situation, I will say at least Danny Garcia, he did this guy the way you're supposed to do a tomato can. He destroyed him in a quick, impressive fashion. He didn't allow this fight to be life and death like Donaire versus Vic Darchinian too. He didn't allow this guy to make it all the way to the 12th round. He got him out of there. And he treated him just like the bum that he was. Okay? I really like the style of Danny Garcia. He has what I like to call a combination of intelligence and brute force aggression. Now, I'm, I'm not saying he's the most intelligent fighter. But he does have intelligence when he's in the ring. I mean, he has a very decent defense. He has counterpunching ability. He puts together combinations very well. And the combinations that he puts together, he puts them together with bad intentions. Okay? This is one of the fights, this fight and the Lamont Peterson fight. I was showing my son some of the things that these fighters were implementing in this fight. One of the combinations I noticed that Danny Garcia and Lamont Peterson were using a lot was the overhand right and the left hook to the body right after. That is a very useful combination. And then one of the combinations that Danny Garcia ended the fight with was a right hook to the body and a left hook up top. Now when it comes to Lamont Peterson, I would say his opponent was just a tad better than Danny Garcia's. And I was equally impressed with Lamont Peterson's performance. As always, he showed great boxing ability. He showed a good inside game, digging deep to the body. He fights on the inside, he fights on the outside, he can counter punch, he has a good jab. Lamont Peterson looked good in his fight, okay? He wasn't fighting a world beater, he was still fighting somewhat of a tomato can, but it is what it is. And now we move on to the real business at hand, and that's finding out if these fighters are going to face each other in their next fight. Lamont Peterson versus Danny Garcia. Now, you know, what I find interesting is... Lamont Peterson, understand something. These fighters are both signed by Al Heyman, okay? They're, they're both signed with Al Heyman. Now, Lamont Peterson, he openly says, I want Danny Garcia next. He's calling him out. That's the fight I want next. Lamont made it very clear he wants Danny next. He said that he wanted Danny Garcia before this fight, and he said he wanted him after this fight. But see, Danny Garcia, on the other hand, he doesn't seem as eager and willing to just come straight out and say, yeah, I want that fight as well. You want me? Well, I want you even more. You know, he's not really willing to say that. While Lamont Peterson is saying, I want you next over and over again, Danny Garcia, when he's asked the question, do you want to fight Lamont Peterson? He's like, well, you know, it's up to Al Heyman. But, you know, if he wants it, he can get it. you right. I mean, I really don't know what that means. I don't know if that means he wants to fight or if it means he doesn't want the fight at all. It's really hard to say. All I can tell you is we know that Lamont Peterson wants to fight. Okay? I mean, these fighters, they have to understand, saying it's up to my promoter really has nothing to do with if you want the fight or not. The question was, do you want to fight him next? Just say, I mean, if you really want to fight him, say, I would love to fight him. Matter of fact, I do want to fight him next. But we got to make it happen with the promoter. I mean, if you're going to pull the promoter card, at least say it like that. Okay? So, um, you know, hopefully this is the next fight. Hopefully this was the reason why we got this terrible mismatch card. Because they were setting up Lamont Peterson versus Danny Garcia. I mean, that's what Oscar De La Hoya was saying anyway. He was saying that, you know, I'm going to set up that fight after this. That's another reason why I don't understand why Danny Garcia is saying it's up to the promoter, it's up to this, it's up to that. But I truly do believe that this fight will happen. Logically, it makes all the sense in the world. So we'll just see. We'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. That's pretty much all I got, guys. I'm on to the next one.